Alright, hello, this is the Indigo Experiment, and welcome back to more of the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Now, before you do anything here, save your game. And eh, there's a stink bug on the wall. I hate stink bugs. They shouldn't even be in this part of the world. Anyway, that's not the point. I'm actually going to check right here just to see. We have d completed just about everything, and Zelda Zara is right ahead of us. So, let's see. Usually, there in um, games like this, there's usually a fairy right before doors. Big old doors like this. But I guess not. Link, cut the thing. Okay, anyway. Again, I'm feeling pretty confident in my skills. If I am, um, you know, if I screw up, then, well, I just saved anyway. So, you know, you just turn this using the remote, and in it goes. Really? I don't even think it was, um, it was intended to look like an H. Because, you know, this is a Japanese game made by Nintendo and everything. And they don't use the Roman alphabet, although, you know, they are generally familiar with it, but I doubt it was intended. <laughs> Look who it is. I thought that tornado I stirred up would have tossed and torn you apart, but here you are. Not in pieces. <sighs> not that your life or death is any consequence. It's just the girl that matters now, and I can sense her here. Just beyond this door. Yes, we plucked her majesty from her perch in the clouds, and now she's ours. Oh, but listen to me, I'm being positively uncivil. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the demon lord who presides over this land you look down upon. This land you call the surface. You may call me Garahim. In truth, I very much prefer to be indulged in my full title, Lord Garahim. But I'm not fussy. Ooh. Did you really just draw your sword? Foolish boy. By all rights, the girl should have fallen into our hands already. She was nearly hours when a loathsome servant of the goddess snatched her away. Do you have any idea how that made me feel inside? <laughs> Furious! Outraged! Sick with anger! This turn of events has left me with a strong appetite for bloodshed. Still, it hardly seems fair being in my position to take all of my anger out on you. Which is why I promise up front not to murder you. No, I'll just beat you within an inch of your life. I love the expressiveness of this game. Anyway, yes. Meet... Demon Lord Garahim. I have, I have no confirmed information about this man other than he refers to himself as a demon lord. That's helpful, Fi. His goal is essentially to be, um, and more info, to be um, the most evil and most effeminate person in the entire world. <laughs> Speech analysis, I like that. Anyway. That's not really, but you know, I think that would be obvious. Gear his ability to grasp your sword with his bare right hand. Speaking of right hands, I think it's interesting. Link is left-handed in this um, game. He is... Well, he is right-handed, I mean. Did I say left-handed? What the hell? Stupid mouth. Anyway, he is right-handed. In most games, he is left-handed. In the um, in the Wii port for Twilight Princess, he is right-handed, but that's only to deal with um, the... Well, right... Well, the... Um, fact that 90% of the population is right-handed. Um, you know what? I just want to see what else she has. That's all the information I have at the present time. Anyway, yeah, that's... Yes, we know. Yeah. So that's basically how things work with bosses. If you do this... Oh, whoa, I accidentally got a hit in. Let's see. So, if you let him do this, he will take your sword and try to murder you with it. 
So, I guess just run away for now. Ow! Jerk. So basically you need to um, do this and then attack from a direction where you're not holding your sword. See, he's not taking this seriously, really. He's just kind of, you know, strolling up like, Wee, I've got to kill you. And, and yes, if, if you do this, then you can break it out. So I guess don't be too concerned about that. Yeah, I'm gonna not doing very well here. There we go. There we go. There are a few hits. Okay, round two. Okay, yes, yes, we know, 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 we know. More info. I have detected a change in Garyham's fighting style from the beginning of the battle. I theorize that this change happened because of the small amount of damage he sustained. Tell me more! Okay, that's it. I have actually never really seen most of these before. So, yeah, I guess we'll do these. Let's see what you're gonna do. Alright, this attack. Shield bash it. And you can get a few hits on. So this, you can um, technically reflect these back with a well-placed sword strike, but it's very difficult to do, and I don't like it. So when he does this, don't attack in the way of his sword. He will murder you. He will murder you quite thoroughly. Well, as in, he will murder you for one heart of damage. Come on, can you do the attack that's easy to block, please? Thank you. And my dog's barking. Okay. Jeez, you really like blocking from the top today, don't you? Also, I love this music. Ow! Yeah, that, that was my fault. I have, I have potions. Probably should have gotten a fairy, but oh well. Oh, that's it? Okay. I'll take that. Well, you put up more of a fight than I would have thought possible out of such a soft boy. But don't clap for yourself quite yet. That sword of yours is the only reason you still live. I fear I've spent far too long teasing and toying with you. The girl's presence is all but faded from this place, which means there's no reason to linger here. Goodbye, Sky Child. Run and play this time. Get in my way again, though, and you're dead. <laughs> I really like Garahim. He's a unique villain. I mean, he's... I think he's a lot better than Ganondorf, which... Well, he's just basically your standard villain guy. And he's definitely better than Zant, who... Well, he's... You know, this big serious villain guy with terrible teeth and stuff, but I simply cannot take him seriously. You know, Zant, Zant, I don't know. I tend to... I tend to pronounce it Zant, actually. Um, I just cannot take him seriously because he moves. Seriously. But, um... Basically, pick this thing up. Heart container, it's it basically, yeah, you get an extra heart. Very good. Very nice. I like it. Every time you beat a boss, you get one of those. Let's see how much time it's been. Almost ten minutes. Whoa. That, that, um, that fight took longer than I thought. So... Okay, good. Commentary's on. I just make I'm just making sure because I'm just really paranoid about what happened. This place just looks so nice. Let's see, hold on. Let's see what's up here actually. I think I saw a rupee. Oh. And eh, never mind. I don't really need it anyway. So, you're going to want to actually not go up there at first, and instead go over here. There are some fairies over there, if you know, if you want one. 
But I'd, again, my bottles are already full anyway, and I don't think I need one. I didn't even need to use the potion at all. I didn't take one hit to the shield. But, you know. I still don't feel like wasting your time. That, that goddess cube, very easy to miss. Trust me on this one. You're gonna want to get it. Anyway, let's go on up here. And... tablet that is very nice second tablet as if you couldn't count as in that's patently obvious or patently obvious sorry anyway and now she's gone because Garyham got in our way so Elden you know that is another name of of the M3 well, the name of another of the three um, provinces in Twilight Princess. It's also in about the same geographical location as you'll be able to see later. Although, um, if you've been playing the Wii version of Twilight Princess backwards. I've been playing it, and, well, it's really kind of annoying. Because, well, basically, it was really late in development, so to make it right-handed, they had to basically just flip everything. And... <laughs> Well, basically, you know, the Triforce pieces are backwards, and, well, we have a chance to save here, so I think I'm going to do that. And just hope that um, it's has I haven't been, you know, screwed myself over. Anyway, this has been the Indigo Experiment, and even though I probably didn't finish that thought I just made, we are done here. See you next time, or something. Bye.